Thailand preparing for a soft landing as cracks open up in the Chinese economy says bank chief. Bot has been on a roller coaster ride coming from a 16-year low in October 2022 to a rapid 14.4% gain in this year seeing an 8.4% drop since January 30th as exports slump with June's output being 6.4% down on last year amid rising concerns about significant economic malaise in China. The Thai bot has fallen in value against the US dollar by 8.4% since the 30th of January 2023 as the kingdom finds itself being buffeted by the country's political instability and a growing crisis linked with the Chinese economy as well as elevated interest rates in the United States. This week, at a conference in southern Thailand, Bank of Thailand Governor Seth A. Put Southerward Naruput suggested that while the economic recovery was still intact, the bank was now focused on achieving a soft landing as he referred to cracks in China's economy. Bank of Thailand Governor Seth A. Put Southerward Naruput spoke on Wednesday at a seminar in southern Thailand organized by its regional office. He warned Thai firms about excessive borrowing while conceding cracks in China's economic structure. He said Thailand now targeted a soft landing with a flexible monetary policy, depending on its economic performance. At a seminar in southern Thailand, organized by the Bank of Thailand, the central bank's governor Seth A. Put warned that the negative economic news emanating from China suggested that the communist country was developing cracks in its economic infrastructure. Mr. Seth A. Put particularly mentioned China's problematic real estate sector and the rapid growth in private borrowing and credit in that economy despite plummeting economic growth. Thai firms warned by central bank boss to cut back on borrowing to support business development as credit expands in China while economic growth falters. Mr. Seth Aput used the occasion to warn Thai firms, at this time, to exercise caution about borrowing and the level of debt maintained in their day-to-day -day business activities as well as on company balance sheets. The seminar heard the governor suggest that Thailand's current economic recovery was still ongoing with the central bank now concerned to ensure the economy staged a soft landing in the face of economic headwinds and uncertainty. Thailand's current borrowing rate is 2.25% following the August rise of 25 basis points announced by the bank's Monetary Policy Committee. Mr. Seth Aput indicated that monetary policy going forward would be tied to the data incoming from the economy which is being directly impacted by China's developing economic problems due to the high level of trade between the two countries and significant inward investment from China both of which are expected to be impaired. The figures this week that spooked the market showed China's industrial output growth falling in July to 3.7% from 4.4% in June as well as retail sales with a disturbing headline figure making news around the world showing 21.3% youth unemployment in Thailand's neighbor to the north. Investor faith in China undermined as decoupling phenomenon accelerates and begins to be felt. The week has seen large U.S. financial houses openly express a loss of confidence in China as an investment destination amid a confirmed momentum among global manufacturers who are moving production bases from China to other countries in Southeast Asia and India. Big problem coming into view is Thailand's over-reliance and coupling with China which increasingly looks like a bad bet for a kingdom in denial. Property market collapse in China and a Chinese economic recession is the key threat to Thailand. Ahead of the negative news from Beijing this week. The People's Bank of China attempted to preempt the situation by announcing a half a percent cut in interest rates, which some analysts suggest may help to alleviate some of the problems in the economy. From a macro perspective, today's policy decisions are somewhat helpful. They will help improve the debt serviceability of cash-strapped local governments and property companies, ING Bank explained to clients in a briefing note. But this isn't a game-changing outcome, and so we doubt that market sentiment will dramatically improve just on this. Capital continues to flow west and out of China as Beijing is forced to lower borrowing rates to ease pressures on indebted firms and local authorities. However, as reports on Wednesday of Chinese actors selling US dollars to buy yuan on key international markets to prop up the Chinese currency, in what was seen as a desperate move, there are predictions that a widening gap in returns will drive liquid financial instruments out of China towards the US where interest rates continue to rise particularly as American bonds are becoming more attractive with 10-year U.S. Treasury yields increasing this week. The chief Asia Forex officer with Japanese Mizuho Bank, a global Japanese institution with offices in Bangkok is Mr. Ken Cheung, we saw the 10-year U.S. Treasury yields running high and with the People's Bank of China rate cut, this will lead to the rate difference widening between China and the U.S. and put the renminbi under further pressure, he pronounced on Wednesday. The turmoil in the markets following the economic data from China also played into increased uncertainty about the Thai economy driven by a growing political crisis in the kingdom. Political crisis is becoming an economic problem. In recent weeks, 
the election-winning, pro-democratic and progressive Move Forward Party has been shunted aside in a bid to form the next government in favor of a more traditional and conservative coalition between the second-placed Futai Party and outgoing government parties which could see current Deputy Prime Minister Prawit Wong Suon. The 78-year-old former army chief whose party only achieved 1% of the ballot in the party list national election over three months ago with 8% of constituency seats, emerging as the country's 30th prime minister. Voting for next PM to go ahead with growing turmoil likely to end with General Prawit as PM. Chawit says General Prawit Wong Suan will be Thailand's prime minister at the end of August. There are fears that this possibility may lead to further street protests and continued political tensions in the country with the more moderate Futai Party, now considered a spent force, having decimated its support base because of its decision to abandon its alliance with the more progressive Move Forward coalition. Thai Bot fell to a 16-year low in October 2022 but then rose by 14.4% on foreign tourism gains to January 30, 2023 and since then has fallen by 8.4%. The Thai Bot has been particularly volatile in the last 10 months with it reaching a 16-year low against the U.S. dollar on 16 October 2022 at 38.29. Between then and 30 January 2023, the bot gained by as much as 14.40% to 32.79, purely based on Thailand's full reopening to foreign tourists, but also coming at a time when the country's exports appeared to collapse. The bot has again fallen back to its value on Thursday at 35.28 by 8.4%. This collapse in exports, which drives Thailand's manufacturing sector accounting for 58% of the economy, saw Thailand's output decrease by 6.4% in June compared to the year before with a 10.3% decline in imports. On Wednesday, Mr. Seth Aput blamed the movement and trajectory of the bot on rising interest rates in the United States, considered by most analysts to be the key factor but also accepted that political instability in the kingdom is now playing into the currency markets. Recent bot volatility is mainly driven by the movement of the U.S. federal funds rate, he explained. Of course, domestic political uncertainty is also playing a key role, causing pressure for back fluctuation against the dollar. Country still targets 3.5% GDP growth despite talk from the central bank governor of a soft landing for the Thai economy with red lights flashing. However, the Bank of Thailand governor emphasized the country's foreign tourism recovery and continued strength in domestic spending as the reasons why Thailand's GDP will grow by up to 3.5% this year. In recent weeks, however, Thailand's Consumer Confidence Index fell for the first time in 14 months. Economic danger signals emerging as politicians wrangle over who will form the next government. Mr. Seth Aput, on Wednesday, dismissed fears that the deteriorating Chinese economy will see fewer Chinese visitors enter the kingdom, pointing to the rise in Malaysian tourists seen this year. This trend is coming at a cost to the foreign tourism industry, which is experiencing a 16% decline in expenditure per head compared to 2019. Thailand is still expected to see 29 million visitors this year, with the Tourism Authority of Thailand T80, projecting over 35 million in 2024. Political maneuver by powerful conservative forces to elect a more traditional government, reversing the election result by using the unelected Senate. All eyes in Thailand are now on the vote for Prime Minister scheduled for Tuesday, August 22 when Futai's Sretha Thavisan is expected to be nominated. At the same time, sources within the Bangkok political grapevine are predicting that the nomination will be blocked by elements in the Thai Senate as conservative forces continue their political maneuver using the power of the unelected Senate to bring about a more traditional government. Philippines' landing rates are four points above Thailand. Thailand is not the only country suffering from China's problems and from volatility in the markets caused by rising U.S. interest rates and concern worldwide over raised geopolitical tensions. The Philippine peso and the Malaysian ringgit both declined this week by 0.3% while Indonesia is also seeing a loss of economic activity with reductions in both exports and imports in July eroding into the country's trade surplus. Bank of Thailand to tackle household debt and new plan from 2024 which will see higher standards. On Thursday, the Philippine Central Bank voted to maintain its interest rate at 6.25%, a full 4 percentage points ahead of that set by Thai banks, which indicates the vulnerability of the Thai banking system and the economy because of the country's elevated level of private sector debt which is expected to become the key priority of the Bank of Thailand in the year ahead as opposed to economic growth.